Hello YouTube, welcome back. Um, thanks for tuning into my channel. My name's Callum and today I'm going to do a review of one of my denim jackets. It is a Wrangler 126 MJ denim jacket which I picked up online. Sorry I'm outside right now and it's really hot so I'm not going to be wearing it for most of the video just because I think we're about 30 degrees today. Um, hopefully everyone can hear me well enough. Uh, I am outside. I found a nice little place down by the river um, just to set up the camera and do a video. Just a few things to talk about with the Wrangler jacket. It's quite different to like a Levi's jacket. First of all the material. Obviously it's still denim but the Wrangler jackets, they use a broken twill denim, so it's actually woven differently to a standard twill like you'd see on a Levi's or I think Levi's use a right hand twill. There are brands like uh, Naked and Famous I think use a left hand twill, which is just the direction whether the, the uh, pattern of the weave goes from left to right or right to left. In this case it's a broken twill so it goes a little bit to the right, a little bit to the left. Um, and you can see that in the pattern when you're looking at the weft of the denim you can see that it is a broken twill. What that does for the material is it makes it a lot softer. So this jacket I was really surprised when I first put it on. It doesn't even feel like denim. like. It's so soft, it almost feels like a jersey type of material or like a very heavyweight um, t-shirt. So it's super comfortable. I've noticed some of the fading, the way that the indigo sort of chips away from what I've seen, pictures of other people's jackets, they all tend to have the same similar fade pattern, especially around the collar and around the cuffs. I'll just chuck it on for a second. It's stiflingly hot but just to give you a proper look. This is a size 46 and the fit is very generous in the body but it is a very cropped jacket. Uh, it sits at the waist and one thing I notice um, with the Wrangler jacket is the sleeves are very long compared to the body length. So they sit kind of easily at my wrists. If you're out driving, you've got your hands extended like that, they don't go up too high. Um, that makes it pretty comfortable to wear. So the Wrangler 126 has a very big collar compared to say a Levi's jacket which it does look a little bit old-fashioned but I mean for me I've got kind of long hair and my hair usually just sits on my collar anyway so it doesn't bother me. It looks kind of old school but I like it. I think it's a cool look. Another thing that I think I really like about this jacket is the chest pockets. Everyone knows the Wrangler jacket you can tell them straight away because they've got two W's kind of that's like their version of the Levi's Accuate they have a W that is stitched into the pockets and one of the details I really like is that the pockets are all snap button which I always find it really annoying like when I'm wearing my Levi's jackets I never use the chest pockets because they are a really fiddly annoying button you've got a kind of wrench your fingers in there and try and really twist it open but the Wrangler is just pop open and snap shut. So that's super useful. And another cool thing is on the left chest pocket just below the Wrangler logo there, there is a small opening for a pen or some kind of narrow thing. I put my sunglasses through there and they just hold nicely in that pocket. The buttons are all a really nice coppery sort of colour. Oh and another thing is the snap buttons are on the 
cuffs as well. So I find that really useful because I, I often roll the cuffs up because like I said they're quite long um, and I think that makes the fit look a little bit better if your cuffs are sitting just at the right spot on your wrist rather than starting to swallow your hands. So I picked it up online from a New Zealand website called Trade Me. That's basically where I buy everything online. Um, I don't use eBay just because the shipping cost to get stuff over to New Zealand is just crazy. It's often the, the price of shipping is more than the price of the jacket. Finding stuff there is pretty few and far between, but when something does come up, I'm constantly on my phone on the Trade Me app just looking through every day trying to find stuff so when things do come up it's really awesome which is why when this Wrangler came up and I saw it was made in the USA I just grabbed it straight away. Uh, the jacket has got four pockets they are all external pockets so you've got two chest and there's two kind of angled um, hand pockets I guess although to be honest the angle of the pockets is not that great for putting your hands into like they're not a nice ergonomic easy to put your hands in like a Levi's they're at a funny kind of vertical angle so I don't really use them as hand warmer pockets I don't even know if they're meant to be but they are pretty useful for a, a phone pocket so you can stick your cell phone in there or if you've got a wallet or um, I don't know using a pen or something you can just shove it in there so when I got the jacket, uh, it came with quite a bit of wear and tear. I had to do some repairs on the cuffs. I stitched those up. They were pretty badly frayed and they were actually ripping apart. So it wasn't just like distressing that you can get away with. It was actually structural failure of the fabric. So it needed to be repaired. Um, and I just kind of roughly, just with a needle and thread, one afternoon I just kind of fixed it up and it's all holding together well. Now there's some cool wear on the collar as well. It's kind of, um, you know, that point where it folds that every old denim jacket starts to tear apart. Also, there's the odd spot around near the pockets that are starting to show a bit of wear and tear, but for a jacket this old, it's fine and I think it's kind of cool. So yeah, I'm looking out for more Wrangler jackets as well. I would like to get one that's a bit darker. This one's pretty washed out, like it's not got a lot it's not got a lot left in it to sort of fade it and make it my jacket so it's something I'm gonna keep just because I think it's cool but I am looking for a, a Wrangler jacket that's got more blue left in it so that there's you know could make a bit of a, a project out of it make it a nice fader so it's a Wrangler made in the USA I don't know the exact year that this was made, but just from looking online and trying to gather some information, I think it's from the late 1970s. It's not a Bluebell Wrangler, it's one of the later ones, but if anyone knows and could help me out, give me some information, that would be great. So thank you for tuning in and watching. I've been enjoying making these YouTube videos just on my days off and sort of talking about my hobby and hopefully you guys enjoy the videos and enjoy seeing some of the things that I have been collecting. Um, I'm always actively looking online to buy interesting denim jackets and I've got at least five or six more that are on their way to me at the moment being shipped so there will be new videos coming up. Uh, so yeah, thank you for tuning in. Please leave a comment, please subscribe, let me know what you think. Uh, if anyone does know about dating the Wrangler jackets, please give me your two cents worth to let me know what you think and I'd appreciate it.
All right, thank you guys. See you later.